So here we're going to do some practice problems on integration by parts. Now integration by parts is the most time consuming um, method for doing integration for the most part. Um, but it's one of the most powerful ones. It, it can definitely help. So it, it can definitely help a lot solving a lot of integrals that you can't do by any other method like u substitution or anything. So in general, what you want to do is you want to split the functions into your u and your dv. Okay. Because and and here's the process but how do you decide what's u and what's dv typically what you're going to do is you're going to do um you're going to pick u to be a, um a one of the functions that when you take the derivative it's simplified it becomes a little simpler and so in this case i'm going to do x and i'm going to say dv is sine x dx okay so my u dv has to so this is my u and this is my dv and then I compute what v and du are. Well, the integral of sine x dx is going to be a negative cosine x, right? Because the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. And then du is just going to be dx. And so then we convert this integral into another integral. And the goal is to make the new integral uh, something that's easier to compute. So this is going to be u times v, which is negative x cosine x, minus the integral of v du which is negative cosine x dx. Uh, these negatives cancel, become positive. And you see this integral is now solvable. The integral of cosine x is just sine x. So it gets negative x cosine x plus sine x plus c. So what we've done is we've converted from um, one integral to another integral that we can solve. So if we look at number two, we're going to do a similar thing. I'm going to say u is equal to x squared, and then dv is equal to sine x dx. Then v is going to be equal to negative cosine x, and du is going to be 2x dx. And so this integral gets converted into u times v, which is negative x squared cosine x, minus the integral of v du, which is uh, negative 2x cosine x dx. Okay, and th this negative again cancels. Now the problem here is I don't know how to do this integral. I have an x here, but I can do another uh, integration by parts if I do u is equal to uh, x and dv is equal to cosine x dx. Then v would equal, the integral of so cosine is sine x. The derivative here is dx. And so then this is gonna be negative x squared cosine x I can bring out the two times doing this integral of x cosine x becomes uv, which is x sine x, minus the integral of v du, which is sine x dx. Okay, and then this, now that I've reduced this enough, I know what the integral of sine x, it's just simply equal to uh, cosine x. So then this becomes negative x squared cosine x Distributing the 2, I get plus 2x sine x, and then minus 2 cosine x plus c. Okay. Similar thing we're going to do here. Uh, in general, uh, you usually want to use the exponents for your u because that will reduce the exponents a little bit to make it solvable. So dv is e to the x dx. Therefore, v is e to the x, the integral of this, and the derivative of this is dx. And so then this integral becomes uv, which is x e to the x, minus the integral of v du. And now I can, I've can i converted this integral to this integral, really, and this is solvable, because this is just e to the x plus c. Okay. Number four. Now this is kind of a trick question because it's it's it, you almost think like well we're doing integration by parts here's this integral but usually uh, a lot of times you don't know if you're going to do integration by parts it's not sort of not um obvious but you usually want to try the easier methods first and in this case u substitution would be enough because du would equal 2x dx or one half du would equal x dx and you see this becomes the integral of uh, the x dx is just one half du, so it becomes integral e to the u times one half du. 
and that's just one half integral e to the u du. See, I didn't need to do integration by parts for this because this is one half uh, e to the u plus c. And then last, to resubstitute back into x squared, um, e to the x squared plus c. Okay, so it's not always integration by parts. Sometimes you're going to do u substitution. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I go through a lot more of these exact kinds of problems with much longer videos uh, on my website. It's entirely free. Check out the link in the description below.